Our infrastructure provides the means by which we move and connect people, goods and resources every single day. Infrastructure enables our economy to grow and communities to thrive. We often think of infrastructure as fixed, isolated assets. But new digital technologies are transforming how we design, build and operate assets throughout their life cycle. That's why this year's Institution of Civil Engineers State of the Nation Policy Report looks at three key areas where government and industry should focus their efforts to catalyse change. We can unlock productivity and deliver better services by targeting investment and putting the end user first. We can drive a step change in leadership and organisational culture within our sector so that our entire workforce is making the most of these new tools. We can navigate the security and resilience challenges raised by increasing digital connectivity, population growth and climate change. The UK population is due to increase to 75 million by 2050 and much of our current infrastructure will still be in place then. So we must do more with what we have and we must put users first. From drones and artificial intelligence to sensors and being able to access real-time data on site the potential to radically improve the performance of existing and future assets is vast. From controlling the temperature in your home, making sure your journey to work runs smoothly, through to enabling you to work at the office or remotely, they can bring numerous benefits to end users. Last year, road congestion cost the motorist £30.8 billion, and currently it takes longer to travel from Liverpool to Hull by train than it does to travel from London to Paris. Digital transformation has the ability to address these and other performance issues, as well as unlock productivity and unleash economic growth across our regions. To join the conversation, visit ice.org.uk slash state of the nation.